Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and welcome to this session and this series of Playwright. In this session and in this series, we are going to learn Playwright step by step from scratch. So do not worry if you are a complete beginner. Do not worry if you have uh, no background in automation or testing or programming or coding. I'm going to start from scratch and we, we are going to go up step by step. So in, in this session, we will start with understanding what is Playwright and we will look at the features of Playwright and I will show you all the features. We will discuss uh, what is Playwright, what are the applications supported, what are the browsers supported, what are the operating systems supported and everything about Playwright. So this is going to be a very much theoretical introduction session. And from the next session onwards, we will do hands-on, we will see the prerequisites and then we will install and use Playwright. Now, if you have any questions, during this session, you can always let me know in the comment section below or the Q&A section below this video. And if you have any general question which is not related to Playwright or this video, still you can ask me. I read all my messages and I reply to everyone. So you can ask me your general questions as well. If it is a general question, then you can add the hashtag AskRaghav. If you want, you can also go on my website, automationstepbystep.com and you will find all these tutorials here as well. And you can see the Ask Raghav playlist as well here. So you can ask your general questions here. And uh, if you find the pace of this video slow, you can go to the player settings, the video player settings, and you can increase the speed from there. So with that, let's get started. And let us first see what is Playwright. Now Playwright is a free and open source framework. It is created by Microsoft and it can be used for doing test automation on web browser applications. And when I say web browser, it can be desktop browsers or it can also be mobile browsers. So if I talk about the applications supported by Playwright, all the web browser apps, all the mobile web apps, as well as we can also do API testing with uh, Playwright. If I talk about the languages supported, now Playwright as of now is implemented in four languages or four uh, libraries. The first one is the Node.js library. And if you use the Node.js library or Node.js implementation of Playwright, then the options for programming language there is JavaScript or TypeScript. So we can use JavaScript or TypeScript. Then there's a Java implementation, a Java API. If we use the Java library of Playwright, then we can create our test cases. We can create our framework in Java. Then there is a Python uh, implementation. We can use Python there. And then there is a .NET implementation where we can use .NET languages like C Sharp. So we have all these languages support. You can create your framework and write your test cases in any of these languages. If I talk about the browsers supported by Playwright, then all the modern browsers are supported by Playwright. And uh, we talk about the browser engines here. So we have support for all the Chromium based browsers, all the WebKit browsers and all the Firefox browsers. When I say Chromium, it is a web browser engine and under Chromium, we have uh, Google Chrome, we have Microsoft Edge, we have Opera, we have Brave browsers and many others. Under WebKit, we have all the Mac OS and iOS browsers like Safari and all the iOS uh, browsers. Then if I talk about Firefox, then all the versions, all the flavors of Firefox, whether it is desktop Firefox browsers, or mobile Firefox browsers, everything is supported by Playwright. And you can also use these browsers in a headless mode or a headful mode. Headless means no GUI. So when you run your tests in a headless mode, you will not see anything coming up on the screen. You will not see the physical browsers. Everything will be running at the backend and it will save uh, time, it will save memory. But if you want to run in a physical mode, in a headed mode, even that is possible where you can see the physical browsers on your screen. So if you just uh, search for, if you uh, see some Chromium browsers or you can just search for Chromium browser list and you can find all these browsers like we have Opera, Microsoft Edge, uh, Brave browsers, Google Chrome. So you can see all the list here. So here is a list you can check. Uh, this is the link where you can see all the list of browsers under Chromium. Similarly, under WebKit, you can see all the WebKit browsers like Safari and then Firefox browsers. So all these are supported. Then if I talk about the operating system supported by Playwright, then you can create your Playwright framework 
on a windows operating system on a mac operating system or a linux operating system and it also supports ci runs so if you want to use any ci cd tool docker all that is supported now this is the official website of playwright so if i go and search for playwright you can see here this is the official website playwright.dev and here you can see the details about playwright the documentation all the features cross browser cross cross platform cross language mobile web and all these features auto wait assertions all this you can see here and here you can see the implementations so if you go to this drop down you can see all these implementations we have node js python java and .NET. so when you select any of these implementations or libraries and then if you click on this uh, github link it will take you to the github page for that particular api of playwright or that particular implementation of playwright so here i had selected node.js from here and then i clicked on this github link so it it has taken me to the github page for the playwright node.js implementation and you can see all the details here as well similarly if i go here and uh, select java and then i click on this github link it will take me to the github page for the playwright java implementation and this is the link for playwright github and this is uh, also very important you will see all the commits everything here so that is why it is open source because we can contribute to this playwright project and these two links are very important i have shown you these things so so that in future if there is any changes if there are any changes you can always refer from here so this is what playwright is now if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you you can keep it on your mobile or keep it on your desktop screen and look at it look at it multiple times so that it becomes very clear for you that what is playwright and with that let us now go to the features of playwright so we have already seen it is free and open source free means you can use it freely and open source means we can contribute to the playwright project then it is multi browser it has multi browser support multi language support multi operating system support this we have already seen the setup and installation is very easy in the coming session we will see how easy it is to set up and install and configure playwright then we can do functional testing with playwright we can do api testing and we can also do accessibility testing so there is a third party plugin that we can add into our playwright framework and then we can do accessibility testing as well playwright has built in reporters so you will not have to add separate reporters in your framework but if you want we can also use custom reporters and if you want to use any reporters like allo reporting all that is supported so you can use custom reporters as well in playwright then we also have a ci cd support and docker support so if you want to use any ci cd tools like jenkins or if you want to use any container platforms like docker that is also possible with playwright then we have recording options so if you want to record your test and you want to get your test scripts generated that is possible with playwright uh, if you want to debug your test and if you want to do step by step debugging that is possible i will show you in the later sessions how do we do recording and debugging and you can also capture the object locators from the screen so you do not have to manually create the locators for your web objects playwright has options to explore and create locators for you and then we can do parallel testing and with parallel testing we can make our testing very fast although playwright in itself is very fast but with parallel testing we can run playwright on multiple browsers at the same time then we have auto wait and auto timeouts so there are some auto wait inbuilt in playwright when we are loading a page or when we are finding some object or we are doing any action on the object there is a, a timeout available and by default it is five seconds and we can change it as well so auto wait is there then we have built-in assertions for example if you want to click on a button let us say we are on the login screen and we want to click on the login button so we will just uh, add the step to click on the login button but at the back end playwright will uh, will uh, you know run some assertions built in assertions like is the page already loaded if if the object is already loaded if the object is present if the object is clickable all this will happen at the back end so there are built in assertions and with auto wait timeouts and built in assertions our testing and our test cases are 
uh, very less flaky. Flaky test means when you run a test, sometimes it passes and sometimes it fails. So, so these, these kind of tests are flaky tests. So with Playwright, they will be very less or no flaky tests. Then we have options for retry logic. If you want to retry your failed tests, uh, we have uh, options to see the logs, generate the logs. Uh, we have options for screenshot and videos of our test execution. So all this is there. Then a very important feature in Playwright is we have support for multi-tab and multi-window execution. So a lot of times in our applications, in our scenarios, we have uh, a scenario like if I click on a link, if I click on a button, it opens a page in a new window or a new tab. And in a lot of automation tools, this is not supported, but in Playwright, it is supported. Even if you want to do multi-window, multi-tab testing, you can do that with Playwright. Then Playwright can handle iframes and shadow DOM objects. This is also very, very important and very useful in automation. Then if you want to emulate devices, if you want to run your test by emulating some devices like a mobile device, you can do that. If you want to set some viewport or the screen size or the resolution and then do the testing, that is possible. If you want to change the geolocations, even that is possible. So for example, uh, if I just go to my, uh, let us say my Chrome browser and I'm pressing F12 on my keyboard so that I go to the Chrome dev tools. And here you can see here, we have option to select devices. So if I click here on this devices, I will have option to select devices like Galaxy, iPhone, Pixel, Samsung, and I can set the resolution from here. So we can set the screen size and resolution. And with Playwright, we can also do this. We can also uh, set the geolocations. So all this we can do with Playwright. Then, uh, we can do parameterization, we can add variables, we can do data-driven testing, uh, we can use some external files like a CSV file to, uh, to get our data and do testing, so that is possible. And Playwright is very fast. When we run our test cases, you will see how fast it is. So Playwright is very, very fast. And of course, we have parallel testing as well, so it will make it even more faster. So these are all the features of Playwright. Now, if you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and look at it several times and you will never forget all the features of Playwright. And with that, we have completed this session. From the next session, we will do hands-on. We will uh, install Playwright. We will see the prerequisites and then we will run, create and run our test cases. I hope this was very useful for you. Thank you for watching. And as I always say, never stop learning.